discussion about being poor. People talk about poor people, but they don't know how they feel. Sleeping in a bed and bed, not knowing where they're going to eat there, not next meal. They're, they're stuck there. Detroit, once the car capital of the world, tragically transformed into the murder capital of the country 30 years ago. Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News, reporting. And veteran TV crime reporter Bill Proctor covered it all, including the murder of little Christina Brown. I must admit, uh, at that time, it was simply another assignment. It was another tragedy in Detroit. There were many in those days. There were uh, drug dealing related deaths and violence everywhere. It was almost a daily call. You walk away from it, you are done. From the get-go, the suspect was 23-year-old Lamar Munson, the man who used the tiny 12-year-old to deal crack. Number 9655982, Lamar Munson, the charge of murder in the first degree premeditated. By anyone's account, the young girl's death is horrific. Christina lays crumpled on the bathroom floor, covered from head to toe in her own blood. A bloody knife is nearby. Lamar Munson says he stumbled upon the gruesome scene and then went to get help. She was still breathing. He went knocking on doors to try to get help. He waited at the scene, spoke to police, talked about what he had seen, what he had done, his attempt to save his friend. The case seemed to be sewed up in no time at all. Cops had what they think is the murder weapon, the knife. The cause of her death was the result of multiple stab wounds. And they had their suspect, Lamar Munson. They'll get his confession that will lead to a conviction and a sentence of 30 to 50 years. For the Detroit Police Force back then, it's a job well done. But did they have the wrong man? The way Lamar was raised, nobody could tell me that Lamar would do something like they accused him of doing. Nobody. I wouldn't believe that in a million years. I had brought him up as a young man who had never given me any problems or any trouble at any time.